Hey, if you're watching this, you're probably a fan of the 80s movie, the horror movie Poltergeist. I wrote a blog on the uh, young star, uh, Dominique Dunn, who was murdered. Um, she was in the film, and I'll post my uh, blog link below. Um, so there's this Poltergeist actress, Dominique Dunn's father, stalked her killer until he died. Um, so she's best remembered for Poltergeist. Um, she was murdered by former boyfriend John Sweeney on November 4th, the same year. Um, she also had uh, several other guest uh, starring roles in notable television series, including um, Lou Grant, Chips, Fame, and Hill Street Blues. Um, it was actually on the set of Hill Street Blues uh, episode Requiem for a Handbag in, in 1992, where uh, Dunn played a girl being abused by her mother. Crimefeed.com reported on March 8th, uh, 2016, that the makeup department didn't need to do anything to her face to get her ready for the role. In fact, uh, her boyfriend, John Sweeney, had allegedly battered her already, leaving her black and blue. Um, so you can find screenshots of that on Google. Um, I thought about making it the uh, thumbnail to the video, but I thought twice about it, so I don't think I'll be doing that. Um, her brother is also an actor of some note, uh, Griffin Dunn. He's still acting. He was an alias. Um, some of his 80s credits are uh, SNL. He was a host, After Hours, and uh, An American Werewolf in Paris. Uh, and if you are a Madonna fan at all, he was also in the uh, 87 movie Who's That Girl, which was a notoriously uh, bad film, but it has a cult following. A 2015 Snopes.com post reports that Dominique died on the 4th November at Cedars Sinai Medical Center in Los Angeles. Uh, it was four days before <clears throat> that she'd been strangled outside of her home by Sweeney. Uh, it was four to six minutes that he strangled her, uh, putting her into a coma. When the police arrived, Sweeney said, I killed my girlfriend and tried to kill myself. Uh, Dunn was 22 when she died. She was, I think, like 19 days away from her 23rd birthday. Uh, so on September 23rd of 83, uh, Sweeney was convicted of voluntary manslaughter and misdemeanor assault. Um, he was sentenced to six and a half years. He served three and then he was released. Um, during the whole trial, uh, Dominique's father, uh, Dominic, uh, journaled every day. And his journals were later turned into an article for Vanity Fair that they released in an article uh, in 1984. Um, after Johns was released in uh, prison, Dominique's mother and brother reportedly handed out flyers outside the Chronicle, which was an upscale uh, restaurant in Santa Monica that had hired him. The flyer said, The food you will eat tonight was made by the hands that killed Dominique Dunn. Due to the protests, Sweeney eventually left the job, moved, and changed his name to John Mora. Mora? I think that's the right way to say it. Uh, on January 20th, 2015, uh, SAG member Richard White uh, gave a comment to uh, Quora.com that John Sweeney was stalked by Dominique Dunn's father. From the time of his release in 1986, Dunn tried to get him fired whenever he got a job, including picketing any business that hired him and hiring private detectives to follow him 24-7. White went on to say that the stalking and harassment ended shortly before Dominique Dunn died in 2009. Um, I realize that being a SAG member doesn't give him any credibility or insight, but uh, I was struck by the tone of his comment. He uh, casted Sweeney in the role of the victim, saying that uh, Dominic's actions uh, amounted to harassment. Um, is that possible? I don't think so. I think you got to take all the consequences of your actions, not just the ones imposed on you by courts. And if you murder someone, uh, one of the consequences are you might have to deal with their disgruntled family members. Um, <clears throat> but I suppose somebody can make a case on the other side of that. Uh, I wonder if there's anyone left keeping track of John Sweeney now that Dominic has passed away. Uh, he'd never gotten justice for his daughter. He never felt that way. I don't think three years, many people, I don't think three years would be justice for taking a life. Um, and I wonder if uh, John Sweeney is working today. Is he working in a restaurant? Uh, maybe the meal someone ate tonight was prepared by the hands that killed Dominique Dunn. So uh, if you like the content, uh, just subscribe and 
like, and thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you again.